Conflict. Conflict uh, um, of in that region. And I'm wondering if that's still going on over there and how does that impact you guys there and how do you guys deal with that? Conflict with whom? Uh, conflict between you guys and um, Somalia, if I've got it right. Oh, no, it's very far from us. <laughs> okay. As we have seen on the map, um, uh, I better show you because you are very far away. So that. Uh, <laughs> When we see uh, New Zealand from our country, we are assuming as if it is a very, as if it is a very tiny village <laughs> on the map. So the same, yeah, it is appearing the same to the same to everybody. You see, yeah. so we are very far away from Somalia, and very also very far from. Oh. This is the map of Ethiopia. Somalia. Somalia is here. Yep. This is Somalia, Ethiopia. The problem is here. Okay. This is Djibouti, where we are uh, bringing our coffee to the port. It's about uh, 300 kilometers from uh, the town of Dreda. We have uh, another coffee processing plant here. It is 140 kilometers. It's very safe. We drive car trucks uh, to Djibouti. This is Sudan. Of course, yes, there is a problem with the Eritrea here. But we are very far. Tigra is here, Alfar is here, Amara is here. So our region is located in here. But there is a big tension around this area. But no one, there are United Nations forces there in the border of Eritrea and Tigray. But with coffee, we don't have any. As you can see, it is very far away from the coffee producing areas. And we don't have any problem. You know, we travel, I always visit my cooperatives in the west, in the east, in the south, and internally, you don't see the safest country in the world is Ethiopia. <laughs> you can, yeah, there are people, I think Justin can talk. You can walk, you can drive day and night without any problem. Recently, last uh, January, end of January, we were having a big, great run across Ethiopia, where we had uh, about uh, 17 coffee roasters were running from the capital city of Addis Ababa to Yirgaza for 410 kilometers in eight days. And whenever they are running, people were running with them, supporting them running. <laughs> so they finished it without any problem. So it is very, very safe. Thank you. And it's also a place to visit. We have a church, which was made in the 9th century, which is called Lalibala. A church carved from a single stone. We do have about 11 churches. And I've never visited, but I went the last uh, December, and it was really amazing. And uh, I've seen many places in the world, but there's no place like uh, Lalibala, which is very attractive, and uh, uh, no, no one knows who built it. Because it's difficult, and it can't be done by human beings.